Hey guys, this is Tom with Permaculture Wilmington. Just wanted to give you an idea of what mushroom foraging is like. It's walking around in very moist areas and looking around for dead trees and seeing if you can find anything that has growth on it. And just a lot of looking around and exploring in really cool places, I think. Here we have a false turkey tail, guys. A lot of you are asking what the false turkey tails look like to make sure when you're getting turkey tail mushroom you don't get the wrong one. Um, and first you need to identify the tree. So we, we have identified this as an oak tree, and that's what most of the uh, choice edible mushrooms grow on. So the turkey tails, medicinal turkey tail mushroom, um, it, it also grows on oak, so it's easy to get them confused. Unless you know the details, and one is this reddish tint to them that's specific to the false turkey tail, and also turkey tail mushrooms have uh, pores on the other side. They're a polypore, whereas this is a smooth surface. So if you see the bottom of it, it won't have any pores. And unfortunately, my macro is not good enough to really get close on that one. But guys, when you're out here, you can you know take a look. And uh, that's part of the fun. It's just analyzing things. Bring a loop. Get close on it. These are more spent. So um, in terms of like the age. So these are like mature. Um, and these are past the point of maturity. I thought I'd take a second and just show you how beautiful it is out here today. This is just an absolutely gorgeous time to be walking around mushroom foraging or looking for plants, edible plants, testing your botany skills, or uh, looking for wildlife. This, this uh, wood structure here, all this dead wood, is a perfect habitat for snakes. Just wanted to show you this big black racer we walked up on while we were mushroom foraging in Brunswick County here. He's a nice size one, but these guys, when they dart into the bushes, man, they, they're gone. As soon as you see them go, it's like they just, it's night and day. They're, they're into the woods and you'll never see them again. So before I scared him, I just wanted to see if I could get him on camera so you guys can see how fast he is. Why they call him Black Racers. Let's see if I can walk around. He's, oh, oh, ah. Oh. He's right over here. Hope you saw that. If not, I missed him. I was looking, trying to look down at where I was about to step. And he's gone just like that. I didn't even see where he went. I hope you guys did. My hand wasn't in the way. But uh, let's see if we can walk over. Maybe, maybe he only went a couple feet. Beautiful snake, though. Very beneficial. And nope. It looks like he's gone. Just like that. They are the ghosts that you see out here. Come up on them and then they just disappear. Just wanted to share the beauty of the day. Hope you're having a wonderful day yourself. When you're out mushroom foraging, guys, always look for dips in elevation, things close to water, ditches, all the logs and oaks and hardwoods that are around these areas. That's where you're going to find the mushrooms. I just told her there was chicken of the woods here. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there it is. But uh, we're going to need a boat to get out to it. So, yeah about that some of these you just got to let go like looks like there's some reishi out on this one too um, but hey we might come back with a canoe because it looks like there's a whole lot more around the this little area